What is going on guys today we are looking at prime moment in right we had three brand new icons come in and yeah there we go we can click it we had uh, ian wright makalele and also prime moment zambrata which luckily i haven't used any of them so it's not too bad i know last time balak was in there we already did him so it, it's kind of okay if you have done him but it's nice to get a brand new out and especially with some of these they look actually all right we are going to be using them in foot champs for a couple of games each just to see what they are all about obviously ian wright coming in first love the dynamic image tank top to the masses honestly what a what a card no one pace no free shooting three star skill a four star weak foot he is coming in at about 500 i think it is five eight five eight nine on the transfer market and five 500 on obviously the estimated price but the market is currently if i can find market i believe it's up there it's a hundred percent at the moment which is just crazy we've had so many sbcs and just no promo no promo no upgrade packs so at the minute it's just up and up and up and literally i don't know how anybody's completing all of these right now without spending a lot of money Obviously, the chem star we're going to be going for is going to be an engine. I feel like that is going to be the most beneficial for him as he's already got a hell of a lot of shooting. So we will whack engine on him right now. We are playing him in a centre forward to start with and then we'll move him up front in game just so I can get Mane on as well. Uh, we've got Bruno out of the team. But in general, I think what when you put an engine on him, we will get 96 pace, 90 dribbling and also 78 passing. So... It should be a pretty solid card, to be honest. His shooting is already up there, 96 finishing on the base. It's really just about that dribbling, getting the 90 agility, 91 balance. Already got 91 composure. I'm interested with this card. He is, I think, the cheapest one in this. Then it's Zambrotta, then it's Makaleli. So let's see what he's all about, see what he can do in champs. We've got no... Um, traits unfortunately which is a shame and obviously he is a crystal palace slash arsenal as his main teams so let's just get straight into it gonna find ian wright straight away on that wing first before he does come inside due to custom tactics what can we do with him let's see he obviously doesn't have the four star skills but this guy's just letting me get through pogba literally just not not holding at all Fortunately, we didn't have the scoop or anything like that to use to Ian. Oh, Caldrade runs straight into him. The moment I'm not seeing anything special, we are only a couple of minutes in, so very, very quick to say. But just judging from a striker, you normally can tell within the first, the first few attacks of him whether anything special is going to occur. At the moment, the four-star skills is really jarring me. And the passing... I know a striker doesn't necessarily need to pass, but it's always nice to have that kind of, that all-round player. And I feel like I'm asking for a bit too much from a 500k icon, but do you, I think people know what I mean when you, you've kind of got that striker in your head. When you've used someone like a, a Freeze Mane for so long, I was hoping that he would manage to get the near post or maybe move across goal there. See what we can get in terms of a corner. And it's this, it's this moment here where, where I kind of, there it is. Boom! There we go, Ian Wright. Lovely goal. First goal in champs. And like I say, it's, it's where there are moments where you kind of could use a scoop, you could use a Berber spin. He doesn't have that. And then that sometimes is a bit jarring for a lot of players. And when you're paying 500k for somebody, unless literally it's, um, like I say, a Crystal Palace past and present, Arsenal past and present, you kind of just feel like you could just go pick up Mbappe instead. Yes, the SBC is there, so you have got the chance to kind of do him or craft him as such for free. If you, you utilize the word carefully, I've always been told off for, for using it as free as the, the wrong term because you've got to put coins in first. But you know what I mean. If you can go and get like an Mbappe for practically 400k across goal, oh, Ian Wright with a second, then you probably would just go get an Mbappe instead. But again, he's starting to come alive now. We're managing to get past a lot of people. And I uh, feel like he's probably given up already. The Virgil did not move one bit. I don't know if he's planning on the AI doing all the work. But he did not move Virgil one second there. And literally gave me the opportunity to literally just run past him. There it is again. Oh, Ronaldo nearly this time. 1-2 with Mane. What can we find back into Ian Wright? Let's see where to get on that run. We can see him there. We'll just get to Mane instead. Where's he going to go? There he is. Oh, it's completely ran past him. 
one two with Ronaldo. We find Mane. Doesn't look like Ian Wright's going to give me any options there. Going across goal. Ian Wright comes in and clutches up his hat trick. Yes, he is. Thought he might have been offside there. Didn't see anybody else celebrating. Hat trick hero in his first foot champs game. I feel like the guy's defending is a little bit below par. Into Ian Wright again. Little roulette. Okay, nothing there. Does take it off. Virgil oh, nearly gets it. Probably maybe should have kind of held the ball. Maybe done a little bit of a fake to kind of get a bit more space. Very, very close quarters there. So I don't think many people would have been able to, to even muster up anything from that position. He does battle. I'll give him that. Oh, oh, nearly, nearly. A little bit more agility and definitely could have gone down for a free kick or penalty there. Into Ian Wright, what can we see? Gomez is going to stand off him. Finesse. Oh, Ian Wright picks it out of the bag. You beauty. Gomez just gives him that little inch of space. And I think with strikers like this, that is the most dangerous thing you can do. He's not going to skill you. Just stay on him because his shooting will kind of carry him through in terms of what he can produce as a striker. And it's like a lot of people. It's like, um, I'm trying to think of a, a for instance, literally everyone's blanked. It, it's pretty much like a 90 Giroud. He's not going to outpace you. But if you give him that ball outside the box, inside the box, with a clear shot, he more than likely will score it. The one thing I do like as well from him, right, just to add to that... Is his battle and his aggression strength kind of thing. Well, we 76, 74. It feels nice. Like, it feels a hell of a lot higher. He's battling to win a, a lot of the balls back. Ian Wright again. It's just it's literally this. Oh, keeper makes a great save. But that, he doesn't bother tackling. I don't know if that's him trying to think that the AI is going to do it for him. or. But it, it isn't that easy to defend like that. Cantona into Ian Wright, who's going to get a bullet header. Ooh, how tall is he? 5'9", and managing to, to really get up there. Ian Wright into Ronaldo. Going to find it back to Ian. Is that a foul? Oh, Gomez just gets his leg out. Ian gets that shot, but Gomez again going to block it this time. Gomez trying to step up to not let Ian get his fifth. Ian's going to find a beautiful ball into Mane, but Caldrado's just going to make that tackle instead. But a nice little play there. Just sees him with a back heel. Into Ian. Oh, he slots it past him for his fifth. The question is, is he a one-game wonderer, or can he make it two games on the bounce where he produces? Oh, Mane, stop that. Beautiful, and he's gone. Ian Wright. Oh, Mane, can we get it into him? No, he's going to absolutely maul me with two players straight off the bat there. Into Ian. It's got to be Ian, Ian, Ian. Get your head on that, son. Ian's got to find Ronaldo in. Oh, ref. It's a penalty. It's absolutely a penalty. Who is going to take it? What is Ian's penalties? Can we say with confidence? Because this is foot champs. If he's not up to the scratch, 89 is not going to cut it, my friend, unfortunately. But we are going to go with a bit of Cantona, who's missed. I should have went with Ian. Oh, jeez, the power on that shot. Ian's running through. Gets it across to Cantona, who's not going to get it. Uh, Essien. Ian, across goal. Hey, not just a one-game wonder. You love to see it. Ian into Ronaldo. Oh, I think we should have probably went for goal. Next time, if we go into that sort of role, we know that he is looking for that pass back. So instead, we'll just cut it back and, and kind of go for the shot with the player anyway. Ian Wright wants to make himself a run. Getting in behind the defenders. Just give it a hit. Just give it a hit. Why not? Let, let rip. We, we seem to be doing pretty well. We're on top of him so far. Ronaldo's going to go for one. Oh, nearly left footed. Ian's going to win that back. Oh, it's into Mane. It's got a bit of finesse. Oh, and Ronaldo's going to finish it. No, he's not. Hart is going to make a clinching save that could potentially really relight this match for him, really, there. We're only 1-0 up still. Oh, so that could be a huge save for him, a double save as well. 
Oh, Cantona, love it. Ian, oh, good good block. I don't think, don't even know who that is. Is that Walker in form I think he's using? Into Ian. Oh, yeah, it is Walker. Solid, solid defender there. Virgil was absolutely sold, but Walker st stood tall and made sure he got that tackle. He does not want Ian getting his second one of the game. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Oh, Cantona can't finish. Ian puts it on an absolute plate for him. All I had to do was go and bury it, and he unfortunately does make the save there. Ian. Across goal. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. What a finish. Top left, and we get the rage quit in the 81st. So if we do go into the overall for Ian then. So if we just have a quick look at the SBC. Uh, can I just do that? Yeah, excellent. So we've got the bronze and silver, pretty standard. We have an 83 rated team, an 84 rated team, and an 84, uh, 86 in fact. It's not bad. Always bear in mind with these Icon SBCs, if you are looking to buy a large amount of players, do not do it right now. Especially Icons. Icon SBCs don't bother because literally they are going to drop down in price. They're there for they're not there forever, but they're there for a long time. And the market is absolutely up in the up in the uh, in the sky at the moment. This SBC, I can imagine, will drop down at least 50k at the very very minimum. With obviously all the fodder, an 86 rated team should not cost 261, especially with no informs. Literally, you can add an extra 20k value, maybe even 30k to be fair, with this one inform. Obviously, they have done a, done us an absolute nice by letting us use foot champs as well if we wanted to. Uh, but obviously, that does take into consideration more informs rather than uh, red picks because no one's putting a red pick in there because who knows who's got basically who who do you know i don't know who you've got in your red picks so who else is going to know in, in terms of sbc solutions went a long wordy way of that but honestly he was decent enough to be fair i kind of went into it thinking might not necessarily struggle with him because he's still a prime moment he's still got 96 pace 93 shooting 90 dribbling so it's not a bad card by any means but i did think three star skills maybe maybe not as much presence as i thought and yes i definitely have a uh, partner with him i wouldn't have him as a sole striker he did have to be fed it a lot in in terms of he's not going to create loads of chances but kind of passing moving all of that good stuff he was fantastic with passing a little bit lackluster um sometimes stray balls just going everywhere um and obviously having like someone like a de bruyne a ronaldo a mane all around him they kind of show him up because their passing is pretty exquisite, especially the likes of a team of the year, De Bruyne. He's bound to. He's a 96 and he's a midfielder. So you kind of expect him. But in terms of sprinting, shooting, dribbling, it's all nice. I would love that four-star skills if he did have it. But unfortunately, we are sticking with a three. Would I recommend him? Maybe in an English squad. But even then, you've got the choice between... Um, you've got the choice between Owen... What was it? Owen Lineker. Let's get Nations up again. Owen Lineker, uh, right, and I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Where, where's, where's England? I've gone past it, haven't I? Uh, England, or is it? Yeah, it is England. I was going to say, it's not Come United. It's and Shearer. That's who it is. So you've got Lineker, Shearer, Owen, and then obviously Ian Wright. So you have got a bit of competition. I, I'd have said if I'd have chose anybody, it'd be, it'd be between Lineker and Owen, um, and then probably maybe right than Shearer just because of the pace kind of difference. But again, nothing that a Hunter or a Catalyst can't fix. But Ian Wright, definitely, probably third in my opinion out of the four. He's not a bad card. He's worth the grind in terms of the SBC if you want to do it for free to get a prime moments in the club. But other than that, I probably would leave him alone. I feel like Mbappe gold would be such a good option. And at the moment, um, especially with obviously all of the Mbappe, especially with all of the fodder dropping, Honestly, I crap myself up. 414 gay on the Xbox. You can't ask for fairer than that. He's the same rating. He's absolutely phenomenal on the game. He's a five-star, four-star with just everything going for him. So it kind of depends on what you need. If you need that icon there, I would look elsewhere. You have got plenty of strikers, but... I guess if you're looking for just an untradeable SBC icon, then fair enough. Like then this this could be your card. It's relatively cheap. Once you get the market down, you'll be able to do him for for way under 500k. And especially if we do get upgrade packs, that will make the the price even less to grind. 
buying it outright is going to be the most expensive obviously but if you do kind of craft it and, and use the upgrade packs even if you buy upgrade packs you can still do it considerably cheaper because if you think about it if we go back to him if you've got three squads to do 83 84 86 you need 33 players if literally you do 50 player picks for instance even at like 9k each that's still not going to be 500k i don't think I'm going to have to double check on a calculator. No, no. Siri's going to start speaking. <laughs> Even if, so say what, we did 50 times, what, say 9K to be polite, 450. And that's being polite. That's an extra 17. And we know what player picks are like. All it will take is an 88, 89, 87 to make that SBC even cheaper. An 83 would be an absolute standard. An 84 should be pretty simple. The 86 is the only one that is more difficult. And even then, you're laughing with it. So you could get it done a hell of a lot cheaper. But hopefully you did enjoy the video. I'm personally going to give Ian Wright an 8.6 out of 10. Let me know down below what you think about Ian. And if you are going to complete him, let me know. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace.